Another five-minute mystery. Grand show, Pete. At five fifty a seat, it had to be. There you go about money again. And why not? If I had it, we'd be married by now. We can't wait for my uncle to die to inherit his estate. I'm sorry, Margaret. No bank account, no marriage. Pete, if I get some money, will you do as I ask? Maybe. But how are you going to get your hands on any? Never mind how. I'll get it. Hey there, Miss Talbot. You sound grim. What are you going to do? Get a dowry for my marriage. <laughs> Hello? This is Graham. Uh, Mr. Graham, this is Inspector Todd, police. Police? What's the matter? I'll have to ask you to come down to my office at headquarters. Your fiancé's uncle has been killed in an automobile wreck. Good heavens, of course. I'll be right down. (laughs) Pete! Oh, Pete, it's horrible. Uncle Mike... I know. Now, please, Margaret, stop crying. I'm Inspector Todd, Mr. Graham. Do you have a chair, please? Oh, thank you. Now, uh, about the wreck. I've already told you about the car going off a cliff. I knew something would happen to him with that new English car of his. He's just learning how to drive it. We have evidence that points to murder, Miss Talbot, not an accident. Murder? Yes. Our investigation proves that the steering wheel of the car was tampered with. The wheel broke on a treacherous stretch of road about a mile from your house, Miss Talbot. It was a clever scheme. A completely fiendish one. I agree. Miss Talbot, I'd like very much to question Mr. Graham alone. Would you wait outside for a moment, please? Of course. I'll uh, put my cards on the table, Mr. Graham. I believe that your fiancé killed her uncle by fixing that wheel. But she couldn't have done it. She's innocent, I tell you. Well, why are you so certain? Because... Because I loosened the wheel. You? Yes. I decided to do it last night. We were sitting in the car in the garage, and we were talking about the future. Pretty soon, I had my arm around Margaret, and I thought how swell it would be if we could get her uncle's money and marry. Which um, arm did you put around her? Well, the right one, of course. What else when I'm sitting at the wheel? After I took her to the house, I came back and did it. Now, please, let Margaret go home. I'm afraid I can't do that. Your uh, imaginary confession, despite its nobility, completely absolves you from the crime. Your fiancé tampered with that wheel, not you. And I'm holding her for murder. What slip did Pete Graham make in his confession to Inspector Todd? In just a moment, we'll know. confession fell apart completely, Mr. Graham, when you told me that you had placed your right arm around her while you were at the wheel. Since the uncle's car was of an English make, as Miss Talbot pointed out, the steering wheel is at the right of the car, making the arm position you described impossible. No, Mr. Graham, your motive does you credit, much more so than your storytelling. I uh, wanted you to convince me of a few details. Your confession proved your innocence and her guilt. (laughs) 